Hello everyone, this is Dinesh again from Click2 and in this video today I am just going to speak about the expired domains a lot and even in the live I am going to find a new expired uh, like uh, find the expired domain and, and register it uh, under my account. So uh, when it comes to expired domains like we can either build it as a proper blogging website if the domain is uh, domain has good history or even if you are planning to build as a PBN of course you can expired domains are the best. So the main reason for choosing going for the expired domain rather than new domain is that like when it comes to new domain if you build a new domain it will take a lot of time to mature on Google in fact it will go a uh, period called sandbox period in Google and then uh, like after like four to five months it will get matured and only then you can see obviously some good results with the domain but in the case of expired domain you can see the results uh, in the beginning itself right from the hosting the domain and making it live on Google if you are picking the right domain then you can see the results instantly so in this video I am just going to use this tool expiredomains.net this is a free tool uh, you can just create an account in this and you can just find the expired domains which are uh, available right now so I am just going to log into my account actually I got I already have signed up for this so I am just logging in so today I am just planning to get uh, some domain name in the name of magazine with .co.uk extension so obviously like maybe uh, I am just planning to build some magazine websites like if you for example if you take BM magazine like this is a proper website they have built it from scratch to like obviously this is the best domain I could say like when it comes to uh, getting traffic or uh, if you are planning to build backlink this is one of the best domain so I'm just going to start from scratch I'm going to find a similar domain name and I'm going to build it from uh, like for the future it meant it's a time taking process to build but I'm just going to find a domain name and register it so in this uh, field I'm just going to search for like you can obviously search since I have I'm looking for magazine uh, in the domain name this particular word in the domain name I'm just searching it like this so this means this expired domains not net will filter me the domains with this uh, containing this exact word and with this extension so I'm just going to give a search so these th there are uh, lots of many domains available of course some domains are already uh, like available in some registrars you need to pay extra money and get it but uh, the domain names with this status available is already available in normal domain price and you can of course register it so I'm just going to go through this list of course so let me check whether this domain name is available like it was available here but it may or may not available so let's just check it but this is a pretty much long domain name so I will not go for this even if it's available so let's straight away go for let's open ahrefs in one window So let's in the meantime we can go through the domain authority as well. So I'm not going for this domain name, it's too long, so let's focus on the others. You can see Asian magazine. I'm just keeping this. This pretty much good asianamagazine.co.uk in the meantime we can check the domain stats using ahref obviously I will not go for this domain it doesn't have any good data so let's move on to the next domain so this is like this is how you, you need to like spend more time on finding the best domain because it's worth investing if you spend if you get if you get the right domain then obviously like half the job is done so in this next next I am going to view this Hayes magazine straight away let me put in href and check the domain stats this is not bad it has like 44 referring domains and it has like it's not bad let's check the referring domains not bad this is very short domain name and also it's brandable 
so even you have got the backlinks from stack overflow this kind of websites I, I hope like this domain has really good backlinks stack overflow studentroom.co.uk so these kind of websites it's really authoritative ones like you can see that already the backlinks are coming from different sources in a relevant uh, country extension .co.uk so obviously I would say I would prefer this domain if it's available for a normal domain uh, rate so next let me go to the seeker host and check whether it's this domain name is available even like when it comes we can also go through the anchors before uh, deciding anchor it's not bad mostly it's coming with branded anchor and naked URLs so once if you are getting this domain, nom domain name obviously you can uh, put some dummy contents or sample contents in this uh, dummy contents in the sense just a short write ups in this pages and make it alive just to uh, avoid uh, like just to make sure like we don't lose these backlinks because we are already uh, giving uh, we are getting links to many pages of this domain so even if you are ho uh, hosting this domain and making it live you should make sure like at least you put uh, contents to the page which has like more backlinks just to make sure that we don't lose that backlinks so i'm just so the, uh, i'm satisfied with the refer referring domains mostly so even the dr is comparatively less it will grow once we host the domain and if we put up the, the, the contents so it has like referring domains 44 not bad and domain sources are good so let me check the domain authority so domain authority it shows like 19 it's not bad 19 uh, obviously there is no spam score so this is very positive sign so this is this is uh, the concept case so we are we have i have just gone through the backlinks so like if you buy this domain it will be cost you around like 8 to 10 dollars if you consider the backlink sources and the domain authority it's worth investing rather than going for a new domain so it's for 8 dollars you are just going to get these these many backlinks with this particular authority so obviously this uh, also there you are going to skip the google sandbox period this domain is already public uh, like hosted by someone used by someone previously so before moving forward let me check whether it's available So if it's available then we can just check the domain archive history like domain uh, history and we can just register this so let it load in the meantime I can just go for archive.org I'm going to check the domain history So you can see it's it's been live quite long like from 2012-13 so let me go to 13 let me check the domain history how it looks oh wow it looks fine like actually it seems like a proper magazine websites they have published some news kind of articles it's not bad I'm wondering like why they have dropped this domain even it doesn't have any spam score it has some good decent backlinks let it completely load yeah so we can see that archive data is very clear even I, I would uh, I will take one more time like going previously going way back I hope this is a proper magazine website somehow they have missed to renew or something like this is a good domain to get it yeah you can see this like this is a proper domain they have published recent, uh, really like good number of articles actually this is a proper uh, properly updated news website but somehow they have dropped it so it's very good to buy this domain let me check whether it is available yeah of course this is available so i'm just going to uh, register straight away 
so this is available so everything is fine so i'm just giving a quick recap i have found this domain using this tool expired domains.net uh, and i have checked the ahref data ahref data so this is fine uh, it's, it has good number of referring domains even domain authority looks fine like it's around 19 which is not bad uh, domain history is fine so uh, even the domain is available so i'm just going to register this i'm just going to add to cart check out so already have a, i have account in seekahost so i'm just going to buy this now Yeah, so this is how you will, uh, you need to analyze the expired domain before buying it. So this is the perfect one. I'm just accepting the payment. So hopefully, if you are watching this video, I, I I I like like I would say like you should have learned now like how to find an expired domain without spending a penny. So this is this is today we are lucky like we got this domain from this uh, list. So I'm just. I'm just going to register this. Yeah, so we're done. So we have just purchased this domain. So if you are watching this video, this video is ideally uh, if you are working on the expired domain snitch, you, you, uh, it will help you to get an idea like how to find the best expired domain and build it. So uh, soon I will come up with a new video. Even I will I will build this as a proper blog and I will show the results like how it's uh, reflecting in the search results and how the traffic is growing over a period of time. And I will just give you continuous updates about this expired domain and so you will get a clear picture of this. So thank you for watching. I will be soon with a new video very soon. Thank you.